everybody and welcome to your 8th and I yes I do believe it's the 8th wire mod tutorial now in this tutorial I'm going to be revisiting the screen again a user commented earlier uh, that he wants to know how to change the color of the text um, possibly the background and I have an answer for that and I'll be going over it in this tutorial so uh, what you're going to want to start with is pretty much what we did last tutorial, which is the seventh. And this is just a screen that displays um, different phrases, sentences, or in this case, words. And, um, yep, you're just going to want to start there. I'll do a quick brief overview of how this works. The timer is counting up and this pretty much rounds it to even numbers once it hits three it resets the timer um, each word has a value one two three and when that value is chosen it just puts it onto the screen now for this um, let's say you want alright first let's start with um, a normal a normal color so let's say we want to make the background hmm, let's make it purple no, that's, that's too hard. Let's just make it white. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold down your key to, you know, get to your item list and all that. And you're going to see this box on the right. Now, all you're going to do is go down to either um, Wire Legacy or Wire Advance. It doesn't matter. And you'll have this box. And as you see, when you drag it to different colors, these numbers over here change. To get white, you just want to drag it in the very top right. And you see these three numbers right here. 255, or I'm sorry, the three numbers. 255, 255, 255. So that is the code for white. Now, those three numbers is what is known as a vector. So um, let's say we want to change it to white. We'll go ahead and get a constant value. And a constant value has this neat little thing here where you can change it to a vector. Now, how do you type in a vector? Well, it's three numbers, and you don't create one, um, an entry for each number. You just all type it all into that same bar. So for white, it's 255, 255, 255. So what we're going to type in is 255, comma, 255, comma, 255. So that's the code for white. Now we can place this anywhere we want. Let's put it there. And we'll wire it up. So... FG color is the color of your text, so that would be the hello YouTube or the hello there YouTube text. BG color is the background's color, so right now it's set to black. But if we change this to our vector, 255, 255, 255, it turns white. And we can change this to any color, like let's say we want this uh, purplish color right here. That looks like it's a 2200255. So write that down or just remember it and let me get a constant value and oh wait I gotta change this so it's two 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 zero and then it was zero uh, zero and two five five alright so that should be the code for purple we'll update this and there you go and now change to purple so that's pretty much how you change the colors of the background. And I can do the same thing here if I um, wire this. If I go ahead and wire it to, um, to the text, I mean, it's going to blend right in because they're both purple. But you get the point. So that's how you change the background. And, oh, we can do it right here. I'll just erase this so it's all black. And then we'll change the font, FG color, to purple and there you go so now what if you want alternating colors well surprisingly enough it is extremely similar and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm not gonna start with a blank slate but what I'm going to do is start with a um, a default screen so let's go to the why can I not find my remove tool there it is okay so we're gonna remove this we're gonna remove that and I am just going to put down a fresh new text screen bam and I'll go ahead and wire it up to say hi there YouTube bam okay so now let's say we want to alternate the colors um, we'll alternate from 
Shoot, pick three colors. White, pink, and black. Great. White, pink, and black. So all we're going... Wow, that was a mouse spasm. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to want to add some more values to our constant value. And what values are those? You may have guessed it. You may not have. But it's going to be your three vectors. So what you're going to do is, of course, I'm going to have to start all over. Uh, five, six, seven. All right, I'll try to do this as fast as possible. But essentially, I got to remake this thing. So hello. There. And then YouTube. Got your one to start the timer. Got your three to know when to stop the timer. And now, what we're going to do is you're going to want to add your three vectors, or however many vectors you wanted. So, in my case, I'm going to have one, two, three. Now, my first vector, let's make it, um, actually, let's make it red, white, and black. Yeah, let's just make it red, white, and black. Or we'll, we'll make it red, white, and blue because America pride. All right, so to get red, again, you can check at any time by just going down to your wire advanced, filling it up to red. All right, red is just 25500. Zero, zero. So we'll go back to our constant value, and then it's going to be 255, comma, 0, comma, 0. Next, for white, I already know it's going to be 255, 255, 255. And for blue, um, I don't know it off the top of my head, so we'll go to what seems like blue here. And um, I know from prior knowledge, the most blue you can get, it does go in order. Red, green, blue, RGB. So blue is going to be your last value. So if you set everything else to zero and you jack blue up all the way, which is 255, you're going to get blue. So I'm just going to go back to my constant value. And I'm just going to change it to 0, 0, 255. And there we go. So that's great. Now I now you just update it by clicking on it. So I have red, white, and blue, as you can see by entry 6, 7, and 8. Now I need to figure out how to choose them. And this is similar as this wire gate select thing, except it's going to be under vector gates. So you're just going to go under gates going to go to uh, vector gates you're just going to hit select now this pretty much just gives you a whole bunch of entries and you can select one from there so I'll put my you know, I'll space it out a little bit wire gate select there and we'll wire it up so first color I want is red which is that one white which is the second and blue which is the third and I'll have it in sync with um, my text so I know my text is getting it from this timer here so I'll just connect the choice to this t the same timer and now uh, let's make that my background or text color well if I make it my background color it may be hard to see the text so we'll change the text and remember FG color is text so I'm gonna link that up to my vector and you can see red white blue and it pretty much is in sync with um, the changing of the text. Now I could have reversed this and I could easily just put this as my background color and have it like that, red, white, blue, and so on and so forth, red, white, blue. All right guys, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I'm here to help, so any questions, feel free. Um, I should be able to get back to them fairly quickly. I mentioned earlier about a Twitch TV account that I'll be live streaming from. If you guys want to join in on a server or anything like that, uh, we can do that. And I could help out or you know, we could just play around and mess with stuff or you know have a good old time but link to that in the description um, if you want to go check that out I'll say it right now it's pretty much twitch TV slash dr. Mooch so um, that's the account again it's in the description um, more info on that to come but that's pretty much the tutorial um, I hope 
that was easy to follow. If it's not, just leave a comment. I didn't. I'll do my best to explain if you don't understand something. But it's it's pretty straightforward. Just building off the um, contraption we previously built in the seventh tutorial. All right. So um, that's all I'm gonna leave you with. Have fun, practice, learn it, and uh, get it in your head. The more you practice, the better you will become. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you later.